So we've already looked at our ETC shadow file, which holds our password configurations, but very rarely do we want to actually manage it from there. It is far, far easier to use a couple of other tools to manage our passwords. And we've already looked at one of them a little bit, and that's the, let me get to the right screen, PASSWD tool. And remember, we've used this to set somebody's password or to reset our own. Now let's take a look at the help for this and we'll see that there are a few other things we can do with it. We can use this to lock somebody's account, to unlock somebody's account, to view an account status, to set a minimum uh, number of days between password changes, a maximum number of days between password changes, and the uh, warning indicator. So how soon before your account expires do you get a warning, or your password expires, do you get a warning that you need to change your password? So. A few other tools in here too. Let's take a look at how this works. Let's say I want to lock the, uh, uh, well, let me look at the status of the Ma uh, Maxwell account first. So I'm going to issue the command uh, sudo. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just switch user to my administrative user, my root user, because I don't want to forget typing sudo every time I need to. So I'm going to do a PASSWD. I want to view the status. Remember, capital S is different than lowercase s for M Maxwell. And this is going to show me my status here. M Maxwell, the capital P means the password is active and working. The date that the password was last changed, the number of days before it expires, minimum number of days, minimum number of days is zero, uh, about 10,000 or 100,000 days before it expires, and warning indicator seven days before that. Okay, let's say I want to lock this account. So I would do PASSWD dash L to lock the account for M Maxwell. And that now locks the account. So I'm going to hit up arrow a couple of times to go through my command history and check my status again. And now you'll notice that that account is locked. To unlock it, I just change that to a dash U. Let me look at my status again, and we'll see that our password is unlocked. Now, that 9,999... Let me try that again. 99,999 days before password expires. That seems a little extreme. Let's change that. So that is my maximum number of days, and that's going to be X. So it would be PASSWD dash X. Remember, options come first. I want to change that to 90 days for M Maxwell. That looks better. Now let me view my status, and we'll see that there are now 90 days. Okay, so this gives you an idea of how you can use PASSWD. There is another tool, which I actually like a little bit better, and that's CHH. So let's take a look at the help on that. And here we're going to see we can't do everything, right? We can set uh, password inactive. We can list to show our account information, minimum days, maximum days, warning days. Notice I don't have the lock unlock thing here. But that's okay. If I'm just doing some other configurations, this works really well. And it's a little easier to use, I think. So I want to list the information for M Maxwell. So yeah, this looks a little bit more structured. Password last change, password expires, gives me the date. When the password goes inactive, when the account expires, minimum number of days, number of days before warning. Let's say I want to set that minimum number of days to five days so that they can't just switch passwords back to what they originally had. So the minimum days is going to be lowercase m. So it's going to be chh dash lowercase m. And I want to set that to five days for m maxwell. And then hit my up arrow a couple of times, view my data again, and you can see right there we have made our change. Okay, so these tools, CHH and PASSWD, will allow us to manage passwords for password options, and passwords for that matter, and account lockouts for users on our server.